In this lecture, we will draw the output or drain characteristics of N-channel JFET. We will draw the output or drain characteristics of N-channel JFET. If you remember the output characteristics of common emitter transistor, common emitter transistor, we obtained various IC versus VCE curves. We obtained various IC versus VCE curves where IC is the output current is the output current or the collector current and VCE is the output voltage or collector to emitter voltage and these curves we obtained for different for different base currents IB where IB is the input current so this was the scenario in case of common emitter transistor now in case of junction field effect transistor in case of junction field effect transistor whether n channel or p channel we obtain the curves between current id and voltage vds where id is the drain current or the output current id is the drain current or the output current and voltage VDS is drain to source voltage or the output voltage and we obtain these characteristics for different levels of voltage VGS for different levels of voltage VGS where VGS is gate to source voltage or the input voltage input voltage in case of common emitter transistor, current IC is dependent on the base current IB. So we can say that base current IB is the controlling current, controlling current. And in case of JFET, current ID, which is the output current, is dependent on the voltage VGS. VGS is the input voltage and it is the controlling voltage, controlling voltage the controlling voltage is different in case of n channel jfet and in case of p channel jfet in case of n channel jfet in case of n channel jfet controlling voltage vgs is negative vgs is less than 0 volt this means gate terminal gate terminal is at the lower potential as compared to the source terminal in case of p channel jfet VGS controlling voltage is positive this means gate terminal is set at the higher potential as compared to the source terminal now we will plot the output characteristics and for this we will first draw the x-axis and the y-axis the x-axis is for the independent quantity which is VDS in volts the y-axis is for the dependent quantity which is the drain current id in milli amps this is the origin and uh, with jfet there comes the values of idss the value of idss and the pinch of voltage idss is the maximum drain current and the condition to obtain idss is VGS equal to 0 volt and VDS greater than mod of VP this is the condition to obtain the maximum drain current IDSS and for this particular case let's say IDSS is equal to 8 milliamps VP is the pinch of voltage and let's say it is equal to minus 4 volts so we are obtaining the output characteristics of n channel jfet with idss equal to 8 milliamps and vp equal to minus 4 volts now first we will obtain the curve when vgs is equal to 0 volt and vds is some positive voltage and after that we have to increase vds to obtain the curve initially vds is equal to 0 volt and when vds is equal to 0 volt id is equal to 0 amp because across the n channel the potential difference is equal to 0 volt 
so electrons will not be drifted towards the drain terminal and there will be no conventional current id so initially when vds is equal to 0 id is also equal to 0 now on increasing vds id will increase linearly id will increase linearly like this if you increase vds the depletion region will also increase and after some time it will appear that the two depletion regions are touching each other and when this happens the corresponding vds is called as pinch off voltage vp and the drain current id will become constant because the channel will become very narrow and if you increase vds further ids will not increase it will remain constant let's say the x coordinate of this point is the pinch of voltage if i drop a vertical line on the x axis it will give us the pinch of voltage this voltage is the pinch of voltage i will represent it by vp and now if you increase vds current id will become constant like this so this is how you have to obtain the curve when vgs is equal to 0 volt i will write it here vgs is equal to 0 volt and this current this current is the maximum drain current idss the given pinch of voltage is for the case when vgs is equal to 0 volt so this pinch of voltage here is equal to 4 volts now we will consider the case number 2 in case number 2 vgs is negative let's say it is equal to minus 1 volt in case number 3 in case number 3 we will make vgs more negative equal to minus 2 volt in the case number 4 we will make it minus 3 volts and in the last case we will make it minus 4 volts so these are the next four cases and at this point i will give you one homework problem i will give you one homework problem you can see we are making vgs more and more negative why we are not making vgs positive you have to tell me the effect when we make vgs more positive for n channel jfet once you have your answer post it in comment section and now we will discuss the case number one when vgs is less than zero volt it is negative and vds is positive greater than zero volt n channel is connected to the positive potential and p type materials are connected to the negative potential i will write this down n channel is connected to the positive potential and p type materials p type materials are connected to the negative potential and this is the case of reverse biasing the pn junction is reverse biased in this case now if you make vgs more and more negative if you make vgs more and more negative this means you are applying more negative potential to the p-type material and this will increase the reverse biasing so the things are very clear if you make vgs more and more negative the negative potential applied to the p-type material will increase and hence the reverse biasing and when reverse biasing increases when reverse biasing increases this implies the width of depletion layer will also increase so making vgs more and more negative will increase depletion region and when depletion region increases the pinch off we can achieve at the lower value of vds because when the two depletion regions appear to touch each other the condition is called as pinch off voltage and making vgs more and more negative helping us to achieve the pinch off earlier so when we make vgs more negative it is minus one volt in the case number two initially it was zero volt so we are making vgs more negative and because of this reason we will have the pinch of voltage at the lower value of vds so let's see how the plot will look in case number two initially when vds is equal to zero id is also equal to zero after that it will increase linearly like this it will increase linearly like this but the pinch of voltage we will have early the x coordinate of this point 
is the pinch of voltage in case number 2 and if you increase VDS more the drain current will become constant like this. So this curve is for VGS equal to minus 1 volt. In the same way when you make VGS equal to minus 2 volt you will have the plot like this. This is for VGS equal to minus 2 volt. For VGS equal to minus 3 volt again we will get the pinch of voltage early as compared to the earlier case which is VGS equal to minus 2 and for the last case when VGS is equal to minus 4 you can see it is equal to the pinch of voltage VP so when you have VGS equal to the pinch of voltage there is no need to apply VDS when VDS is equal to 0 when the potential difference across the end channel is equal to zero in that case also the two depletion regions will touch each other and if you increase VDS the current will not increase so initially the current is equal to zero and if you increase VDS more the current will still remain equal to zero amps this is for VGS equal to minus 4 volt which is equal to the pinch of voltage VP so this is how you have to plot the characteristics, the output or drain characteristics of the N-channel JFET. In case of P-channel JFET, instead of making VGS more and more negative, we have to make it more and more positive. Now I will draw the locus of pinch of voltages. This is the first pinch of voltage. This is the second. This one is the third, the fourth and this is the fifth pinch of voltage and if you join these points if you join these points you will have the locus of pinch of voltages this one is the locus of pinch of voltages now I will explain different regions in this output characteristics this region here this region is the ohmic region ohmic region we are calling it ohmic region this region we are calling ohmic region because you can see current ID and VDS are having linear relationship ID is directly proportional to VDS and this is the condition of Ohm's law so our N channel JFET is acting as a linear device in this region so we are calling this region ohmic region the region is starting from the point when ID becomes constant and remains constant is called as the saturation region or pinch of region or the active region. I will show you the active region. This region is the active region. We also call it pinch of region, pinch of region or the saturation region when VGS is equal to the pinch of voltage ID is equal to 0 amps and uh, the VGS required to make ID equal to 0 amps is called as gate source cutoff voltage and for all the practical purposes the device has been turned off so this region here is the cutoff region cut off region now we will talk about breakdown region if you go on increasing VDS like any semiconductor device there will be breakdown the electrons will gain the kinetic energy and high drain current ID will flow through the device so if you go on increasing VDS breakdown of the device will occur and the drain current will increase drastically like this so this is how the curve will look in breakdown region a very high drain current will flow through the device so the last region the fourth region is the breakdown region break down region so this is all for this lecture and don't forget to solve the homework problem you have to tell me the effect on making VGS more and more positive on N channel JFET N channel JFET once you have your answer post it in comment section I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.